Okay, we have here uh, an intersection with um, this um, terrain model. I will turn off, I will zoom in to the intersection here and then I will turn off the I will turn off um, the contours and uh, what we have here is um, several systems I have here the uh, sanitary conduits, manholes, uh, stormwater uh, conduits and also um, catch basins I have here um, electrical trench, electrical conduits, a pole, uh, water distribution pipes, and um, and also communication uh, communications conduits. I have here a pond, all right. So uh, what I what I need to perform is a clash detection um, uh, between these elements. I will have this uh, 3D view where I can see. Um, where I can see the different elements in my uh, intersection. I have here uh, the pond, uh, the outlet, the pipe, uh, catch basins. Um, I have the uh, electrical trench. I have the uh, manholes in the sanitary system, uh, the pipes, the water main. Um, I have also uh, this uh, hydrant here. And um, the communications um, dots here and with the uh, these elements and uh, I need to know which uh, system is uh, in conflict uh, with with the others so um, for this I have the clash detection tool here in open roads designer and um, I will use it I will go to the subsurface utilities workflow and then under the tools tab, I have the utilities conflicts, and um, I will I will check these elements, the, these conduits, all these conduits from a stormwater system, sanitary service, water, electric, and uh, communications against them themselves. I mean, um, uh, I I will check every one of these pipes with or against. Uh, the rest of the elements in the, in the, in the, in the intersection. So um, I will move my zoom here and I will process um, this clash detection tool so I can find um, these conflicts here. These are hard clashes between these elements. I will uh, zoom in and um, another thing that I can perform here is, is not only the hard clashes but also the um, soft conflicts uh, for instance with the stormwater I will allow soft conflicts because I, I, I don't know if uh, with the electrical trench here I will have uh, the, this, um, the clearance that I need to have let's say uh, 0.3 meters and I will check if uh, that look now we have another conflict here because uh, these two elements are um, at less than 0 0.3 meters one against the other all right so um, uh, if I go here I can I can see that I have these two conflicts here and another two conflicts here between the stormwater pipe and the sanitary pipe as well as um, this um, this other um, the, the stormwater with the, the communications um, duct. How can I solve that? Well, before that, before anything else, I, I, I'm going to um, delete these um, uh, spheres, all right, with the conflicts. I will delete them in order to check if they, um, to perform the next uh, clash detection. But before that, I will move my elements. I will uh, I will move my uh, invert elevations uh, from the um, uh, manholes, so I can um, I can review if uh, the conflicts are being solved. Okay, so I will 
move down this element this is my maho this one is here so I will have uh, the information from the hydraulic analysis here and uh, I will move down the invert elevation I have here 49.25 I will move it to 48.5 let's see what happens when I move down all right uh, I can I can see that immediately is updated my 3d view um, this is 48.5 so the next manhole this one here I will move it as well to um, let's say 40 uh, now we have 49 I will have 48.75 and it's, it's updated as well so this is also solving this uh, this other clash that we had here all right I will uh, move my view to check uh, and the other one is it was the clearance here between these two elements I will move my uh, zoom to this point so I can I can see what's going on with uh, this electrical trench and the storm um, pipe I don't have at this moment uh, the clearance here is less than 0 0.3 meters so I need to move this up here in order to solve that conflict so I will go to my junction here and I will move it up now it has 49.9 I will move it to 50 this one and now I have 50 here I don't know if this is going to be enough I will say 50.1 I don't know if uh, that will solve I also need to check if uh, this um, distance uh, is, is enough All right okay uh, now I have these two conflicts solved I can see also that between this pipe that is the sanitary and this the storm water now we don't uh, we don't have any conflict here so I will move to the other location to to see the other two conflicts that we had um, right here this one and I will move my zoom to this place to see what's happening with uh, the other elements here so uh, the conflict I, I still have these two conflicts here one with the sanitary and the other with the communications um, duct so I will um, I will we will solve them and uh, let's move to this place all right to solve these two conflicts one is here with the communications and the other one is here I will move up this junction here uh, to solve this conflict between the communications and the storm water this is uh, communications this one this junction here so I will move it up 49 let's say 49.75 and now it's solved and uh, I will move this other as well check that if I touch this I still have this information I will have here to 75 as well and it's updated immediately and I will move uh, this invert elevation of this manhole this um, sanitary sewer manhole to 49.0 and I will move this one as well to uh, let's say at this moment it has 48.75 let's see and um, this one if the flow is this way well this uh, must be less than 48.75 so I will have 40 sorry 48.6 and that's it this is solved okay so now I will check again I will check again this um, 
if uh, we don't have any conflict here, oh, hold on, I will move zoom in and um, I will check again the conflicts with a clash detection, a utility conflict tool. I will process again the same elements, all right, the same elements. And uh, now I don't have only this one is still um, in conflict, all right. So I will zoom in and I will move to this place just to see what the problem is. All right. Uh, I, I think it was not deleted before or I still have this conflict here. Uh, let's check the, um, it was the, um, uh, maybe the clearance. Yes, 0 0.3. Let's say that we need to move up this one as well. Just to have it more than 30 centimeters here uh, above the uh, storm water pipe. Let's move this to 49.9 and I will before processing again this I need to delete this um, element right so I will let's see if I can delete here yes and I will process again and now I don't have any conflicts in my um, systems here I don't have any conflicts between the different elements um, in this intersection with all these uh, systems, water, sewer, storm water, uh, communications, electrical, all right? Okay.